Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. Let me put that down there, and then those in there, and then stick. Yeah, just like that. So one, two, there's 32 rails, that makes 48 rails. That is one full stack of rails right there. Let's dump those sticks down, but I've got the rest of these materials right here. I'll just pick those up floating around in the base. That means that I've now got the minecart. I want to put one hopper in there so that I've got a hopper with a minecart like that. And everything else is about right. There, I'll tell you, there's one thing that I can get rid of is that crossbow. I don't need to be carrying that one around. We've got these bows here, which we can just ditch. We're not going to want those. Although I'm, I'm not going to worry about like scrapping them at the moment. A uh, redstone torch, which I'm going to want. I don't need a comparator, but I do want a couple of repeaters. I'm actually probably going to want more repeaters than I've got there. I've only got three. Right. Let's leave the, the beetroot. They go into a chest in here. And I don't need those gold bars either. I was looking to see if I could remember the recipe for the... Um, redstone repeaters, but I don't, and I need redstone torches for those, which I don't have on. Oh, I do have on me because, like, it took them out of the inventory and it put them down. So that gives me four repeaters, which I think is actually all I'm going to want for what I'm doing. So I now have no redstone torches. I can make redstone torches, though. If I put one of those in there, that gives me a button. And I put one of those there. And then I do that, and I do that. That gives me four redstone torches just there. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go like that. That's going to be eight redstone torches, which I'm going to do there. And it gives me 12 redstone torches altogether. And then I got these redstone repeaters. I will make another one of those, two, three, four of those like that. And then... I'll put those each side, and then I want the stone underneath like that. Wait a minute. Not nether quartz. There. We need redstone. Redstone dust has got to go in the middle of that. So that's going to make six of them. I don't want six. I want another four, because I want to keep some of these torches. So I make four of them. And then I come out of that, so I've got... Torches and stone and let me just get some sleep a minute. Are you all right up there, Sen? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm making I've just um I accidentally broke through to your is it mushroom farm? The mushroom sure. farm? No, what's up here? Oh, it's just the cave where we walk through, is that Oh yeah, it kinda of broke through to there. So I've done some ah, steps. Right. Yeah, you know, that's actually all right going through to there because it just means that it's an easy way for us to get from upstairs over to like the sheep farm and that that's, that's what i thought i thought it'd be a nice shortcut through yeah right let's go and have a look at what sen has destroyed in here okay that's actually looking pretty cool so we've got steps coming up here coming up here to the house and ooh, shiny i like this 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 is this is looking good. So how high like how much of this are you gonna dig out? I know that we got like all of this bit of mountain that was stuck up above us. And like originally I was sort of thinking that we would leave the edge of the mountain, but now are you thinking it's gonna look better if we just dig off this entire mountain? No well I was gonna um just dig off what I need to. Yeah. So however high I need to go. Is what I'll dig off. I suppose we could always, like, put a couple of, like, big stone pillars in underneath. So I have a stone pillar that side and a stone pillar here. So it sort of makes it look like we've dug the house into the mountain. But the mountain is still there holding everything. Yeah. Up. So, because that's in the middle, I wanted to sort of work on the outside. Yeah. Um... What are you going to have for the pillars underneath here? Do you want to just leave these as the planks, or should we go for logs no, or something No, I'm going to do something else. Um, was possibly thinking stone. Yeah. But um, no, I just did that for the minute, so that it All doesn't right. look like it's magic. Okay, ideal. Um, 
Right, I think I've got everything that I need to go and do this bit down the bottom. We're going to have a look at the chickens now. So we're getting this stuff out of here. There is one chicken that was out the side over here. And we're still getting it now. Like, occasionally you get a chicken that spawns in that bit. Now, normally I would expect them when they died to, like, drop their belongings into the chair, into the hoppers. But that doesn't appear to always be working. Um, see, we've got that one floating up there. So that one will despawn, that piece of chicken up there. But I don't think it's going to be the end of the world kind of despawn thing. And we're still getting a decent quantity of stuff turning up in here when the things die. So... The farm, at the moment, appears to be working fairly well. But what we want to do is we're basically just going to repeat this, and we're going to repeat it downstairs. So I'm not going to use that same um, daylight sensor and have uh, lots and lots and lots of redstone going everywhere. I'm going to just plonk down a new daylight sensor down here. Now, I'm not sure how daylight sensors work with regards to being undercover. Uh, if I have the daylight sensor back here, will it still pick up and put out a signal? So there's a very easy way that we can check this. We can just, like, quickly test how it works. And I know that uh, some of you are experienced players, so you will know all about how this works. Uh, but Redstone puts out a strength of up to 14. So we've got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 over there. And I'm going to put down a daylight sensor there in the middle of the day. So if we go over here. Oh, it's, it, it's 15, sorry. And then that one's dead. So it's, it's 15. So we've got 16 over here in the line. And then that one is dead. So if I pick this one up from here. And I instead, I bring this line back from here. And I go like this. And I take it all the way back through here. Like this. And I put it here. So we're well under cover here. And it does reach, the, the daylight does reach it. But it's only putting out a signal strength of four on here. back Right back underneath here. So ideally, we do want to put the daylight sensor out over that side. In order to make this work properly. Now I better pick up this redstone. Because it is actually fairly valuable to us. We don't have a never ending source of it just yet. We haven't built a witch farm or anything like that. So we don't want to be losing this stuff. And there. So we want to have our daylight sensor out over this way somewhere. But then I also need a collection area for this bit here. And the way that collection area is going to work. Is I'm going to remove these torches right here. Actually I can leave that one torch just there put that one down i'm going to remove that one block there and then i've got these couple of stacks of glass move that round change that over and the glass is going to come out here like this so i'm going to have that coming out that far i can just put the glass one block wide but i'm not going to i'm going to actually have a block in front of it so the glass is going to come down here and this is where our farm is going to be like that and it's going to come out that side it's going to be there so it's going to go up two blocks it's, it's going to go higher than this i will put this up higher and i run all the way along there like that and fill that in and then i'm going to go higher again and i'm going to go all the way across the top of these. Now, before I get too carried away, I'm going to go and stuff a load of torches down in here. And I'm actually going to put a torch on every single block for no reason other than I want to. Like that. And, yeah, I know it's a waste of a block of glass, but what's done is done. There. So we're going to do this now, and I'm going to bring that along. The idea is that the bamboo will grow as high as it wants to, but at the moment, I'm all I want to do is I just want to stop mobs from getting in here and potentially causing us a few headaches. So if I can just keep the mobs out of here, that's fine. I'm not really interested in anything else. So I just want to go one higher than this, and then nothing can climb up and walk in. I don't want to put a roof on the bamboo farm. Although... Saying that, a roof on here, like if I keep this wall going up higher still than what it is right now, 
uh, it means that when we harvest the bamboo, it's it's going to make life a little bit easier for us. Because right now, if I harvest this bamboo, it is going to sort of, some of the bits are going to fall off to the side. So maybe we should take this all the way up to the roof. Or at least as high as the bamboo goes. I don't know how high the bamboo goes, though. That's my next problem. So I don't actually know how high it grows. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to go and get some more stacks of glass in a minute. We'll come back and we'll do some more building on that in a minute. Uh, the next thing is we need a collection area to be able to collect up the stuff that we're going to get from this. And that's going to be relatively easy. So I'm just going to come back like that. And then I'm going to dig down again and down again like that. And the first collection area only needs to be one block deep like that. Like we just want to have one block like that. And then I've got to build the collection bit under here. But I've got to make sure that I am going forward far enough. So we want to go forward two blocks, uh, three blocks to the edge of the glass, four blocks to the glass, and then two more after that. So we just want to go forward by six. So there's three there. That's the fourth one there. And then one, two, three, four. We're now under both lots of the bamboo. So I'm actually going to ignore that bit. And I'm going to dig down this way like this. I'll put a torch on the wall to stop anything from spawning under here. Nothing should spawn under here. And we'll be able to, once we've dug our way through this bit, I just need to make sure that I've actually got that right. So if I climb out, I'm going to come over to this side now, and I'm just going to dig one down like that, and then in over and down again and that is marking sort of the the outside edge over this side i don't need it to go any further than that so if i go underneath down in here and all i gotta do is dig this this way and oh there we go i've already found it Let me go and put that dirt in there lock that one up there's the hole that we're coming down so we know that it's just in here so what i want to do next is i want to dig two blocks in like this now that is directly under the lines of the bamboo the one above me just there above me just to the front that one is the line of torches and then the bamboo is actually growing on that block right there so all i want to do is i just want to take these out back like this there over to that point and then i'm going to put torches on the wall on this side now, I know it's a little bit cramped in here. I am doing that quite deliberately. I know that I'm also lighting it up, but I don't want anything spawning in here. I absolutely don't want anything spawning in here. That would be an unmitigated disaster. Now, I want some powered rails. So I'm going to put powered rail there. And I'm going to put another one beside it. I don't want it to go that way which is a bit of a, a pain. So we're going to have to, we'll, we'll do these out like a couple at a time. So I'm going to put a powered rail there and I'm going to have, then we've got the regular rails here as well. We're going to want to put in some of these. So I'm going to put one, two, three of those. And then I'm going to put a powered rail and then I'm going to go this way and I'm going to put a regular rail going like that. And then there's going to be a powered rail going right there. And then I'll come down here and I will do the same if I dig this block out. So then they went to sleep. Bring that one. And I want a powered rail. And then I want a regular rail going up that way. Right. The only other bit that we're going to need is actually powering these rails. And that's also fairly simple. Although, he says it's fairly simple. I do have the slight problem that up above us we've got the pistons. And if I go and power something down here, it shouldn't cause problems. Oh, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Right, if I dig that out and I dig down there, and if I stick one of these pistons down there like that, that doesn't actually light that up. Why have I got zombie sounds? Stop Some me! Somewhere a zombie has spawned, unless he's in a cave somewhere. 
That was um, quick because it didn't really turn night. Yeah, but because I'm underneath uh, the platform, it doesn't need very much darkness. Um, try to let it go to nighttime if you can, Sen. Like uh, because the daylight sensors, we got we got quite a few things that are reliant on the daylight sensors. Okay. Um, I don't think it's too much of an issue because I have them set quite sensitive. Okay, it's definitely the, the zombie that I can hear is in a cave somewhere nearby. Uh, that redstone torch is not powering that track, which means that I've got to actually have... What was that? Right. I heard something very weird then. It sounded like a splat, unless it was a, a witch. It could have been it could have been a witch. You know you sound like a crazy person. I know, but the, the, there's things I can hear them. Now, my concern is that redstone torch I've got on put no, it's actually two blocks away, so it's fine. Okay, so we're all right for powering this up where the redstone torch is down here. And that means that I can uh fill that block in there. You know what, for a minute we will put torches in our uh, food in our offhand. So I can uh, lock that one up and I've got a redstone torch here I'll need to put a redstone torch there which we will do as we kind of back out of this area so this up here that can be filled in I don't need anything in there uh, that can now be filled in and we can have track coming around here like this that should be enough I think these four rails should be enough to make this whole thing work that goes up there. I actually need to break that one off. And I need to put... Actually, I want to come in here because I need to break that one out. Like that. And then I need to put a redstone torch in there. Like that. Which weirdly made that rail change direction. Very, very weirdly. I'm not even sure why I did that. Let me break those two out a minute and have that one down and then i need to dig this one out so that i can get this stuff out of the way ideal and then i can put you in there and then we take rail there we go that's more like it so then the rail comes like that so this is now just moving in a loop around like that that's perfect that's all we need it to do it doesn't need to do any more than that and that should be enough all the way through there. So then I'm just going to fill this back in to there. I'm going to stick a redstone torch up on that bit. And then I'm going to fill it in a bit more like that. And I'm going to put a redstone torch up on there. And I'm going to fill in the rest of this back to here. I then need the items in the hopper to come out which we'll do under here so i i need to put hoppers underneath this bit but i need to get my minecart with hopper i want to put that on here uh there like that i need to make that move right minecart with hopper why aren't you moving That's weird. It's supposed it's supposed to move and just keep moving. I Now I'm confused. Why aren't you moving? Have you done it wrong? Well, I don't know. I don't know if we want this to be moving all the time. It's it's got the redstone torch in there, which I didn't want it to have. It should just go. I must have done it wrong. I'm I'm not very good at these things. I I I'm I'm very inexperienced. And you probably all can tell that I am a bit inexperienced with building these things. So let me get that lever a minute because that's actually a good on off kind of toggle thing that we can use. So maybe I need to just slightly I suspect that I do need to change this around a little bit. If I drop that one down there and then I get the lever instead of the permanent uh power and then I do that. Right, well, that's not working. I have no idea why it's not working, but it's not. So let me remove these items. The hopper over there is not currently doing anything either. 
And instead, let me try just putting my minecart and hopper. I need to put them back together. Let me try just putting them in like this. Put it on there. Right. I can't make it move. Why doesn't it move? I have no idea why it doesn't move, but it should do. I will try something different then. I'm going to put that one down there. I'm going to put the railway back. I'm going to put dirt blocks down here. And then I'm going to go with a redstone torch right here next to it. So that's powered on like that. I have got a couple of these thingies left. So I can actually remove this. And I can remove that. So I can change this around a little bit over this side. I can dig that bit out. And I'm going to dig that one out as well. So I've got a little bit more room here. And then I'm going to... No, I don't want to dig that out because of where it is on the end. I need that to be exactly where I had it before. That's, that's, that's important there. So we want to dig out this side if we want that to go out a bit further. So I dig that down like that and then yeah th th this will work better so then that one comes out to there it goes to that bit and it comes around here like this and then i can bring it over this way see like that and bring it around here that can go then back up that way and it can go in across there so this is fine this 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 should be able to work there's no reason that that shouldn't. So then I've got a powered rail here. If I put a powered rail on, say, that one, and I break it, and then I put that powered rail down, and then on here we go and put our minecart with hopper like that. Let me swap those over. And I place it down on there like that. There's no reason that that shouldn't work now. Let me put a lever. Next to it. I don't understand the logic of this. I don't understand why it's not working. Let You're try. funny. It's, it's, it should be working, you said. It should be working. I, I've done everything right. You put the powered rail, you put the minecart on top of it, and then it goes. Like, it's, you, you're supposed to put the minecart on it, and then it goes. It's not going. Why are you going? It's not going. Okay, I have gone and gotten some more glass, and I'm just wandering around the top of the bamboo farm right here, putting in a few extra pieces like this so that we'll gather everything up. And I have found out exactly what I was doing wrong. Sen has just come back. She's been doing a little bit more work, and we can, I know Sen hasn't actually said a lot lately in the, in the last uh, little while while i've been doing this build but she has been working industriously away in the background and we'll go and have a look at what she's been doing in a little while i am going to i think just have this one i don't think it needs to go any higher i'm, I'm not gonna put the roof over the top just yet on this bamboo because actually i think it will go higher than that although i'm not 100 percent sure because the stuff outside goes higher than that so quite why this is all exactly the same height, I don't really know. That should be going higher than that, I'm sure of it. Unless it's because there's a roof. Maybe there's a roof, and, and that's the reason. But anyway, um, what we want to do is we want to wander down here. So let me just have a bit of chicken. And we can get rid... Like, uh, I was like trying out a few little bits here. I didn't uh, show you all of this, but... I was just trying a few things out. So we want to get rid of that lot right there. I've got some more powered rails, and I do need more powered rails on this to make it work effectively. This over here was just me trying stuff out. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I've got too much stuff that I'm carrying, which is a bit of a jolly nuisance. Um, me dig that one out like that, because I need to break this cut like that so i want to uh right i definitely don't want that one there i want that so i'm i'm gonna what, what am i gonna throw away throw away four blocks of dirt for a minute 
I've got too much stuff, like, floating around. I've got too much stuff on me. I need... Well, I've got some chests, actually. You've always got too much stuff. Yes, I know, I know, I know. It's 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 a problem, and I, I'm 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 getting the help that I need. Um, so we want actually I want those. I've got those sticks right there. I need those. Uh, let's throw the cactus down a minute, and I'm gonna go one. Uh, I'm gonna go like that. One, two, three, like that, and get them so that I've got fourteen, and then I'm gonna put those in. I'm gonna make a load of redstones. Um, torches like that. Right, that'll keep us out of mischief for a little bit. We can then go and put a couple of these in. And I want to take that one out. I want to break that redstone torch right there. And then I want to change these over. And so we're going to dig that one out. Uh, dig that one out, because I don't like the idea of having that right there. So I'm going to also move this over like this. And then we're going to put in dirt down here. Let's have all of this as dirt. Let's let's make this look a little bit neater, shall we? We're going to put that one down in there. And then I'm going to put a redstone torch there. And I'm going to put two blocks of dirt down here. And then I'm going to put rail and rail. And so that's going to power all three of them. Now, it would actually be better if I had the entire thing as powered rails. I don't quite have enough to do that. So I'm going to do it in sort of sections here instead. So I'm just going to get rid of this over here. We're going to work on the section just here. So I'm going to remove those two like that. I don't, don't think I actually technically need to worry about that. And... I'll have three of them. So I'll put the dirt block back here like this. And then I'll have powered rail there and there like that. Now I will fill in the dirt all the way back through here like this. Didn't want to put that one there. I don't even know how it managed to do that. And we will then do exactly the same that we have got on the top end the top side so we will put them down like this and then i will also do one two and three like that and finally one two there and another one there and we'll also put powered rails over this side so we can get the dirt blocks one two three four like that and the reason that the um, the minecart wasn't moving is because you need to have a bit of a boost to start a minecart off. But that boost, it won't accept a boost from... Hang on, I just need to put that one up there. You can't just turn the, the rail on and have that as the boost. You've actually got to have something to move it. Now, if you've got your minecart up against a block and it's on a powered rail then it will actually start it moving and that's a bit that i got wrong i didn't actually realize it had to do that i thought that it was fine without that so what we want this little bit over here it, it, we're going to make a collection area right here so we're going to just dig this out down a little bit more i'm going to come down like that uh we'll dig that bit out and we will dig this off here Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.